So we see the public be warned for me we persecute the first lady. The fact of the matter is we go out and establish the not to the first time office of the first lady don't get money. Let me remember say the, the, the beginning of that conversation. When this whole issue of first lady come out from the audit now, go to Africa this press, go to all the conversation on social media. They say first lady not for supposed for all public money because first lady not ever get not supposed to get public money. But oh check, we find out say this is not the first first lady who don't receive public money. Okay? So we so come so out and tell the people of Sierra Leone say we come out and tell the people of Sierra Leone say no 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 listen. We come out and tell the people of Sierra Leone say the money we then give the office of the first lady, they don't audit them. And that audit, they don't already give recommendations them. Where will they work on for make sure, say, we set up a framework for make sure, say, this office where we now all be feel, say, not be they receive money, don't they receive money before Ben Kaifala even finish college. But we they now make sure, say, accountability did it. And they make sure, say, they're accountable for every penny. So that foundational conversation for, say, this first lady don't get public funds and no other first lady not get public funds before therefore for whole are criminally liable we're not going to do it now because first of all there was a fundamental error in the conversation we... yes subscribe you always they watch we program them but you not subscribe it to the channel all what you get for do press this red subscribe button and then you come over here to impress this bell. So the bell option, press this one with all. And don't do And not get for cost you anything. When you do this, now sign for show say you the support we for make we do more. Thank you for all your effort for share this program. Yeah! God bless you. Okay, the program is still listening to now. Good morning, Salon. Send a message to the number 0779819811. Or go now ready the Democracy 98.1 Facebook page and be part of the discussion. As we tell you, Ali and Awampa, we headline them. Today, at the program, we get the commissioner and the anti corruption commission. we in Francis Ben Kaifala there this morning for cancel. We waiting and waiting the anti corruption commission do inside the year 2021. Where the wrap ups went, the plan them where the commission gets as they continue for fight corruption ahead of 2022. Well, the anti corruption commission, as Unagono by now, um, set up by an act of parliament inside the year 2000. Um, they set up as an independent institution where for lead the fight against corruption as alone through prevention, investigation, prosecution, and serve do public education around seeing them we get for do with corruption. And from time to time, we don't host the commissioner and other. People them now the commission for cancel salon people them how they don't they lead the fight against corruption. Well today, as I say, we they can look at the year 2021, how we've been selected for the ACC. The major cases them where the commission they investigate prosecutions where they do and save how it don't sound like the fight against corruption for the year 2021. And that's make we get the commissioner now the studio this morning. Good morning and welcome to the program. Good morning, Salon. All right, so before we go look at issues um, of waiting and waiting at the highlights um, for the Anti-Corruption Commission for the year 2021, just start for tell listeners them and with Facebook viewers them first, how you go describe the fight against corruption in the year 2021? How you been telling? Well, uh, the fight against corruption, uh, one thing will not happen over the years and the incremental gains will be get. Continue for add to whatsoever record we set. In from 2018, 2019 was far better. 2020 was far better. 2021 also, although not know it, but it promises to be better in many respects. So we don't do a lot more investigations. We don't send more cases to God. We don't ramp up prosecutions and convictions. We don't do recoveries. We don't do far wider range of prevention measures across ministries, departments, and agencies. We don't expand with public education drive to every corner of Sierra Leone in 2021. Um, and, and we don't make sure, say, we continue for trailblaze in the international indexes. Sierra Leone get respect right now all over the world for the fight against corruption. In fact, 
we in, uh, in Africa now, they don't talk about the fight against corruption if Sierra Leone is not measured because of the kind result of the produced at Sierra Leone and the effort they all continue for putting collectively, the people of Sierra Leone, the government, we will really lead the fight against corruption. Other institutions, they with the support we everybody is doing very well. There are challenges, but so far, so good. As you did, unpack the year 2021 for the ACC as an institution. We look up at our mandates, we make governments be established. Una. One of the major mandates, them, na for le, una ensure, say, on a prevent, investigate, and prosecute people, them, where on a go get um, evidence, mix by corruption. Absolutely. In 2021, one year away, people see the ACC call prominent people, if I can say, we don't serve na position of trust for ask them questions someday under investigations. Absolutely. Generally, how you can describe 2021 for you as a uh, Posse with him before in the fight against corruption. One word, amazing. Okay. Now, amazing, now an amazing year for you. Let we go back to some of the major cases, them, where being bring that kind of public attention. One of them cases that they, they all be get for do with the former president of the public, where the ACC being called, say, he get questioned them for answer. Because of the administration, some things them the way the ACC be see be need for answer. Correct. How it been telling for get somebody with all rule the country for the past ten years, and you call them as ACC boss, you get questions them for answer, and the kind of tension with that case they be sparked during the internet. I think they are one of the most uh, significant moves they will make in the fight against corruption. Because one of the problems that we will get now that we believe in creating human gods, we believe in people being untouchable, people casting public service and a sacrifice. It's called public service. If you change service to the noun, the personal noun, it's a, it's, 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 it's a it's public servant. You are a servant. So when you serve, you suppose for also be accountable. You suppose for explain. You suppose people for ask questions. Institutions therefore for able to ask questions and you answer. And uh, I think it's gonna be the first time where we invite a former president and it be bring a lot of issues, a lot of attention, a lot of controversies. But the cooperation of the former president himself be very good. Uh, we self handle them professionally. We now all follow the issues that we come out and. Uh, I think they send the single most important message that everybody is accountable. The controversies at some point to see say um where you men then go na makeni for conduct the interview, so say traditional um devil and come out, try for stop the way of the ACC people there when I get for turn back and say okay when they transfer the interview na free tongue, all then stumbling block then they along the way as ACC boss you see and say na na a stumbling block for stop the fight against corruption or if at any point damping your speed to if you get for fed corruption. No me I believe in two things. The obstacle is the way. Okay? Whenever Obstacle day, me be listening at the way that day. And uh, waiting be happen at McKinney, help we for send the message, for sensitize people, for understand what you will do more. Uh, also, throw a lot more light on the fight against corruption. But you also end up show how resilient we are. We end up doing the interview, that's the most important thing. And uh, to me, not damping my spirit, in fact, it heights now. I like, I excited when there are obstacles. As you make mention, I've uh, been the first time down the following I invite a, f a former sitting president for answer questions at the Anti Corruption Commission after in tenure in office. What are the lessons them with the ACC learn during the period where we have been start the investigation? Uh, I think say, we, 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 we learn um, for understanding say, we need for work more on with people. That is why we ramp up public education drive. In fact, I've been need for change the public education personnel in McKinney uh, because we need for learn for talk to people more, for make them understand uh, what you will do, let them understand, say, not personal. I don't get nothing against President Kuruma. I they merely do a job, me and the commissioner of ACC, the team that the ACC not get nothing against them. We they merely do a job. And INSEF, like a former president, you hold very important positions. A lot of investigations then be touched and concerned decision-making 
people then they will investigate, we make reference to RAM and toxin are unauthorized. And there are certain things we personally tie to INSSF. So there was a need for us to speak to him. So we learn for communicate more, um, ramp up with strategic public education drive and try for make sure so when we make such moves, the people they go understand and go to, they go stand with you. So what's the status of that particular case right now? We don't know the investigation, the prosecution, they review the file. Apart from that um, interview, they will have been conducted and still the investigate as you soon as they review the file stem of the former president. Most people them will have been served in the previous administration of um, the former president, Koma, then Sef, will have been called them at the ACC for questioning. Yes. Some of them people then they um, get for do it, former ministers them, people that we serve na different institution them. Yes. As of now, waiting at the status of the investigations. A lot of them done done. Uh, for, for example, you know, say, uh, uh, Ambassador Yansan, any young case be done done. We mm -hmm. put out, say, uh, although there are issues there, but it not been serious enough for lead to criminal prosecution. So we discharge them completely. Uh, so Ambassador Yansan, they, the, the Secretary General of the APC was let go. Uh, the same thing happened for Paolo Conte. We investigated the matter. It was a military issue. We find out, say, the evidence wasn't uh, uh, sufficient to prosecute him. We let him go. The other one, there were evidence be there. We charged them to court. Um, uh, of course, former ministers, we know about um, um, uh, Mr. Jalo, we have the former minister of works. We know about Kadija to Olimatu Sise. They were the day we charge them to court. We don't prosecute them. We find them guilty. Other people, then they, will, they still stand trial. We know, say, the trial of Victor Fo and others just done. We find guilty the former uh, special assistant to the president. In cell, we find them guilty. The court be done sentence and recently. Um, um, the other one, then they will still left for done. For example, the investigation involving Richard Content and now in the wrap up. Uh, because the issue be so complicated, we be need for get a lot of information from the Japanese government will not be available to we. Uh, we had to keep going after it. So like that one they protracted, they not done yet. Um, the, the investigation just they wrap up now. I think it's the last file that one day of people in the past government within a table. Uh, but other ones then they will yeah, if if you want names uh, we don't prosecute, we don't investigate, we don't recover billions from a lot of them. And uh, of course, we make sure say we send a strong message on accountability. I ask you that question, dear Mr. Commissioner, based on public perception. We camp uh, you work as commissioner and the anti-corruption commission, especially with the way how you don't call people we served in the previous administration. And although you say 2021 uh, an amazing year for you as a commissioner in the fight against corruption. But now one year again, we plenty finger on the points at you see the way you defeat corruption gets for with selecting or targeting people where they from the opposition party. What you could say about that? Most time you do that survey of the public perception. Because it's the survey when we get shows that ninety two percent of the people of Sierra Leone believe in the work we do. That was done by the PFM consortium, an independent body. We confirm say the people of Sierra Leone strongly believe in the fight against corruption and in the support with you they do. I just don't tell you results. I don't tell you, say, the people they will investigate. Some will let them go. Some will find them guilty. But you don't ask me a lot of questions about the past government. Maybe if you come to the present government, we then we now the, come with the, the details. Mr. Commissioner, no, but you question, the, the only way how you question will make meaning to the people of Sierra Leone if we don't do a comparative presentation of the work we don't do with people in the past government, we do with the present government, before we now come for assess with the perception of the people. But I tell you, say, we go find since yes. she did at the studio. Mm -hmm. Let we try for flag most of the issues then because when they look at 2021 as a whole year. Mm. So if you dare, mm -hmm. and we as journalists, mm -hmm. follow they bring to you some of the issues. I agree. Okay, and let we let we look at that situation. Say, you should follow the conversation, I especially agree. conversation where they spark debates from Sierra Leone and the way now when they use social media, where mm. I believe they use mm. a very active day. Yes. Let me ask you that question. Yes, and um, now a very good question. I'll be just one that will make sure so we'll build the context well. But I they tell you, say that's up there when they talk, say me they only go after people in the past government. It's not true. In fact, when they go after people in the present government far more than people in the past government. But also, most significantly, even the one that will go after the past government, anybody point to one, we go talk, say, we, 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 we go ask our questions them, and there was no basis to ask him. One, 
there will be none. All of them had issues to answer. They made statements. Their issues were legitimate. The claims against them were all legitimate. Serious accountability issues. Some of them would not find guilty in court. Some of them don't pay back billions voluntarily. They come and say, yes, now we take, look at them. I present them to the people of Sierra Leone and say, without this money we will take from people in the past government, look at them. The same thing for the ones that we will not find guilty. We come back and say, there are them, yes, like Ambassador Yasane, I just don't talk about Paolo Conte and others. We look at them and say, no, yeah, evidence not there, and we let them go. At the end of the day, we get a serious responsibility for perform. We not get for come and talk, say, okay, because we don't want to let people they point finger at we for say people they in the past government that they run after. So right. all their sins are forgiven. No, 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 no. We don't get that kind of blanket amnesty na ACC. All right. Now a question of whether we transfer that same kind of tenacity to people in the current government. And that's that's what we have been doing. Okay. And that's what we've been continuing to do. Um Francis Ben Kaifala, we are the commission and the ACC. Be the tell listeners and but yeah. waiting and waiting the commission do inside twenty twenty one as we the review the year 2021 for different institutions and today the ACC. Well, um, before we take that break, there, like I say, you will explain what we're going to do. And according to you, um, the perception where people get for, say, the ACC, they track more people from the past administration compared to that of the current administration. According to you, you say, on don't um, target people and within this administration far more than the past administration. So take me through cases then we go able for explain better the one they want to investigate of this administration compared to that of the past. Okay. Um, as we know, investigation, as I always say, just like with people in the past government, not to every investigation means say, the allegation against the person established. But someday will they be established? Now a question of what you do after. So, um, in a similar vein as we do with the people in the past administration, in the current administration, we don't make sure, say, we ramp up investigation into every issue we come up. We look into them, check the facts, establish the issues, and hold the issues. And throughout the history of Sierra Leone, at no time have investigations been more widespread over spreading from the presidency take come down. So, for example, this is not the first time an investigation has happened deep down into the heart of the presidency, the state chief of protocol. When issues came against her, we investigated. We came out with our findings. The same thing happened with other ministries, Ministry of Agriculture. We don't do a lot of ministries than they. The Sierra Leone Maritime Administration, we don't do a lot of investigations concerning the Sierra Leone Maritime Administration. The Sierra Leone Police, we don't do investigations concerning the Sierra Leone Police. Various ministries, departments of agencies, they, they, the cases are there. Some of them we don't charge to court. Some of them we come back and say, we even look into the issue of the, the, the wife of the president, a sitting president. We look into the issue. We come out publicly with the findings and say these are the issues. Generally, if we say we give the names of issues they all they do, the database data be laptop and not going to be now. But you will find out, say, issues that will concern the past government, only 15 now we do. 15 throughout when we don't be commissioner. 15 cases involving people in the past government. What about now? We don't do over 100 cases involving the present government. So that the particular public fact, seem for knowledge about the no, history. the public get knowledge about that. Waiting, the public want if you not go arrest the president and go lock him up, it means you are not fighting corruption. If you not hold one minister away, somebody no like, it means you are not fighting corruption. You are not doing nothing about the current government. And the very each human being get a own specific minister away in one leg go hold. So whether you get facts, whether you don't get evidence, is not. But all the other people, the way they investigate, where will they come out every day? They talk, say, will they investigate this ministry? Will they put out press release? Will they charge people then to court? Will they get convictions? We get one of the cleanest records of convictions in Africa. We get over 90% conviction rate in our prosecutions in court. Will they come out every day, put out those facts? We public education at the ACC, now one of the most powerful in the country. Those young men and women are coming out with facts and details on social media, in the normal media, the press, the television, they explain. But because you know hold up or your minister, you know they even listen to what you say. So no matter how you explain, and they talk say no. And what's in bad if you don't investigate somebody in the past government when I own posse? As long as you don't do that one day, you don't go hold President Bio and lock him up because if he's in a no more than the fight against corruption, they will say. So the people them, 
where they go out and social media, they put all the facts that they out are simply copying out in the conversation. The conversation is very clear. We have done more investigation of issues, personnel, highly placed people in the current government than in the past. So and certainly, we have done fewer, far fewer cases involving the past government than the present government. So, during the investigations, and like you don't state, the past administration for the SEC, when I don't investigate just 15, and over 100 for the current administration. Yes. One thing we question mark on the day on again, because now the people they the work for, get for do it, not the figures, but the way how the SEC, they handle some of their issues here, and at the end of the day, the outcome of some of the cases then. Take, um, for example, the case where we get to the investigation where the ACC been doing at the office of the first lady. When I remember when when I been pulled waiting on a say on a fair not, the public not been like get that kind of expectation saying that this the ACC will pull at the end of the day, then send above case. So we see the public be one for me we persecute the first lady. The fact of the matter is we go out and establish the not to the first time office of the first lady don't get money. Let me remember say the, the, the beginning of that conversation. When this whole issue of First Lady come out from the audit now, go to Africa this press, go to all the conversation on social media. They say First Lady not for supposed for all public money because First Lady not ever get not supposed to get public money. But oh check, we find out say this is not the first first lady who don't receive public money. Okay? We come out and tell the people of Sierra Leone say we come out and tell the people of Sierra Leone say no 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 listen we come out and tell the people of Sierra Leone say the money we then give the office of the first lady they don't audit them and that audit they don't already give recommendations them where we they work on for make sure say we set up a framework for make sure say this office where we now all be feel say not be they receive money don't they receive money before Ben Kaifala even finish college. But we they now make sure say accountability did it, and they make sure say they're accountable for every penny. So that foundational conversation for say this first lady don't get public funds and no other first lady not get public funds before, therefore for whole are criminally liable. We're not going to do it now because first of all, there was a fundamental error in the conversation where we need for clarify and correct and we did it Mr. and with the work right now with the four office of the first lady and other institutions accountable institutions like the secretary to president the 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 the, 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 the financial secretary and other people that we're responsible for channel funds to their kind of office and causes then they for make sure say they follow due processes and procedures talking about that but for say we don't do nothing day. about them it's totally incorrect talking about that investigation the way the um african express is the alarm and the SCCB take up that particular case that we get for the, with the office of the first lady. One new trend, if I can so people see happen in that particular investigation, I've let the ACC say that they go back 14 years back for C, for begin investigate or ask questions from the previous first lady till I come to this present first lady. Now, be one um, procedure that the way the ACC be used, where many people been questioned. Since you there now today, they try for explain waiting and waiting to do for 2021. You can just throw light on that particular. Um, 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 Firstly, make a correct say not to a new trend. Okay? Certain investigations, then they will not be able to truncate, you know, able to cut, cut her. I don't tell you, say, the beginning of the conversation concerning the office of the First Lady was that. Madam Fatima Madabio, now the first first lady, we don't receive money for public funds. We will start the investigation. We will call for data from the Ministry of Finance. We call from data from the Bank of Sierra Leone. We see, say, just remember, say, now Fatima, now Madam Fatima Bio, Her Excellency, Madam Fatima Bio, in your conversation, be start. But when the data come, the data not go cut, say, from 2018 come, but the data come, go way back to the 2000s and probably 90s because that's so that they give information once we look at this data we find out say wait a minute this is not this is not a thing we just begin in 2018 this started way back for example what would they do a comparative analysis of the former president in web sianya mark Roma. we find out say comparatively per annum if they get at least 1.5 billion in travel cost alone you want let we ignore that one day and just say no, let we just look into Fatima Bioing issue, or we'll go look at all the issues together. And like I say, not to a new trend, a professional investigation, therefore be able to look at timelines, 
Set up the timeline, build your history of the investigation, then now come with your outcome. Your outcome might concern only the current situation, but your investigation will be a very, very weak investigation if you not take into consideration antecedents. Antecedents now they determine what you're going to do with what happens as precedents. We can do some of the investigation there, so Mr. Commissioner. How best you can try for draw line between your personal relationship where you can get with some of them people there so and focus in some of the investigations them. I ask you this question because during the term where you be the investigate the first lady, Mrs. Bio, so many issues them come up. People them bring out past um, but the message is them where you be the rights for the president in web during him, but they their message is then they show say when I get some kind of good relationship during and then they how you be able for draw the line between the investigation and the relationship we get with the wife of the president. Me and the people's commissioner. I get a very good relationship with almost everybody in Asalo. Very good relationship. When I say very good even current government, almost everybody in the government, I get a good relationship with them. But as a professional, you get for be able for detach. Okay? You get what they call yogish detachment. Where you detach from the relationship, you stand as a third party and observe the situation. A lot of people that don't sign the indictment, that people that don't get a relationship with going back several years. Very close relationship, even more than the relationship where I get with people like Fatima Bio and others. So relationship not mean nothing to me when it comes to me work. Okay? The people that we don't charge, I don't charge people that are caught. I don't sign the indictment with tears in my eyes because of how long I don't know them. How long I don't get relations. Some people in our all be they call it now all struggle. Some people then they way I don't take money from. Then they go lend money. In fact, they come to me, self say commissioner, do I lend you money? They'll go pay back. I say they go fenam. People they want get relationship with. Yogish detachment. Now in the collar. You can get relationship with everybody. Salon a small country. We all know we self. We all get relationship with we if you say no more, you're not an island because you're not a commissioner, you make a serious mistake. But professionalism calls when the person gets something for answer for, irrespective of the relationship you get with her, they can answer. Let all man take care of your responsibility. And that is a minimum principle. So in my job, I go to smile and joke and laugh with you. If I will go talk about you picking and everything, but we'll come back to the details. If you are as guilty as sin, you are going to court or you're going to pay back. So among the cases and where the ACC been handled inside 2021, which one as a commissioner you go really knock your chest and say you're proud of the way how on a handle them? Oh yes, they, 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 the New York. The people them. The New York Chancery investigation. Why? Now be the highlight of 2021. Why? Why you say? Like no, because I have never had things say that will be the most complex investigation. Now the investigation will really make sure say we engage all the the resources and personnel we get. We not only limit the investigation to Sierra Leone, we go as far as New York. Do forensic analysis and investigations in New York, come back to Sierra Leone, check back what happened from 2012 up to 2021, and hold people there across across the timeline accountable fairly and very, 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 very professionally. I think so the New York Chancery right. investigation are the highlight of the 2021 investigations. Continue with the program. Good morning, Salon. Where they come to you from the Society for Radio Democracy, 98.1 FM. We they look at more issues them inside the program, and we still get the commissioner and the Anti-Corruption Commission, Francis Ben Kefal, there this morning. They tell we about the work with the ACC been do inside 2021, some of their success and challenges them. And later on, we will look at the future and some of the plans that we get for continue for getting to the fight against corruption. Um, Mr. Commissioner, I'll come back to you. We will talk earlier about some of the cases then mm. where you'll be able to look inside and investigate inside 2021. Now, now we can look at the, if I can say the topical one, the much talked about audit report, the mm. 2020 audit report with the Auditor General Bingo Lena Parliament, this being term, also um, the audit report talk about missing billions of Leons, we certain institution them not able for account for, and the most prominent one that the office of the president we mm. not able for account of certain money they would be take for overseas travels, mm. and the ACC, according to a press um, conference on our own, say say don't look inside some of the issues them, and on go see how on go start for 
um, talk about them. Correct. Firstly, as anti-corruption boss, where the audit reports come out for 2020 and the allegations them inside the way you see them, what in a be your first impression we come to mind when you talk about the fight against corruption? Well, um, firstly, probably not because of my own um, training and background and because of me experience with working with Supreme Audit institutions all over the world, I'm not, I'm not shocked, I'm not surprised. Okay. Audit issues are audit issues, no matter which country you go to. The only difference we get in Sierra Leone with the, with the exaggerate slightly the way how they approach when audit reports come out. Because these are issues raised, these are opinions provided, these are things provided. Then they throw insights into the way how the country has been run financially. And sometimes it's more about systems, processes, people that will not provide documents when they're supposed to, people that will probably be absent, the term auditors then they, or auditors themselves can give opinions that will sometimes frankly incorrect. So, um, to me, I'll I, I not be shocked, I'll not be surprised. Um, I see them as an opportunity for me to delve into the issue. But I appreciate the fact that Audit Service Sierra Leone, they always do their job. Um, then they come out with these things, then they throw light into the space. And they give you an opportunity for able to engage with the issues then. So it was more about waiting we could do about this report, we don't come on, than the outrage. I mean, outrage does not solve problem. I believe in action. I believe in solutions. I believe in taking concrete actions and steps. And we got to it immediately, immediately. I mean, it didn't even take us one week to analyze the audit report and see everything with the inside, identify the issues that we not system issues, the one that we not investigation issues, the one that we, frankly, is just a question of opinion. The people that just need to follow the audit recommendations, and we are proceeding with the it. The first time will you ever make a public comment about the 2020 audit reports now a press conference also you address members of the media yes and um, you say you don't give a blanket um, instruction yes. if i can say for let the you people them um, detain anybody we don't give explanation as to what in name they do not the audit report correct they detain, detain until after christmas correct christmas don't pass how many people are getting detention in fact we got straight into action we invited a lot of people them um, uh, during that period. For example, the National Media Agency where they say 15.9 billion is missing. Immediately we go for the finance director and the minister of um, and, 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 and the place. He was arrested, brought to the ACC. The same with the director general of the, 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 the National Media Agency came. Now, just like I had to tell you, audit is now a complex situation. Now, when these people came, 15.9 billion has been flagged in the audit report. We asked them, say, what happened? Why are they saying that you are supposed to account? I didn't say, well, we provided information to the auditors. There is a law in 2017 which gave the National Media Agency authority for pay certain money there into an account. Then the rest they can keep. But it didn't tell them to use. The law not go as far for say you can use this money for your operation. So that 15.9 billion, basically inside 2020, uh, the National Media Agency use them for wrong the operations. And Ministry of Finance not give them no money because the Ministry of Finance are aware for see their money anyway they retain and before run the operations. So it's not like after the explanation given by these people from the Minister of the, the, Minister, the National Media Agency, even though we are now going to check forensically how they actually use this money, but you cannot say they are criminals, they, they, they stole the money like other people that they react. Is a question of the law, which was unclear, which they interpreted in a way to say they can use it for their run runnings. And I remember calling them to a meeting in my office and asking them, where in this law does it say you can use for yourself? They say, well, the law not say so. But once the law, we don't say this, we can put in the consolidated form. And the rest, in all talks, we can put in the consolidated form. We interpreted it to mean we can use it for our operations. And, and because finance have not they give you money, it means finance have aware and approve, say, we can use them that way. Now, we have not concluded that investigation, certainly. But we could not detain them. Because they gave an intelligent explanation as to why $15.9 billion was flagged in an audit report for this. And these are some of the things we see across the board. So yes, people were arrested, people were brought in, people were there, but just like how I say, so, they were all given an opportunity to explain. 
And the one that will give intelligence explanation, we left them. The one that will not give intelligence explanation, we kept them. Quickly, uh, Mr. Commissioner, before my colleague come in, for the purpose of clarification, you they say the audit reports not just a mere opinion. We not a street them as mere opinion. Now then they make with they go and check. We they work with the stakeholders like the parliament, other institutions, them providing for like for example, this analysis all we don't do, we they hand over to parliament. For men they now begin their, their analysis. But before they start, we already give them because they work all they do now in support of parliament in the constitutional responsibility. So we they now give them and then go now run with them and know what they do. But no, the Auditor General's opinion is an opinion, but it is not a mere opinion. It is an opinion that we take very seriously and we are acting on it. We can look at the details of the report itself and the stage with the ACCD. But let's take you back to also you begin to talk about this 2020 audit report will come out and how the ACCD and Ulam you talk say and not come to you as a surprise. I want to explain to listeners that we say not come to you as a surprise that you they lead the fight against corruption. And according to that report, they will come out. The cash loss now about 113 billion units. We now they run up to 10 about 10 million dollars. And now you they head the fight against corruption. This money, according to the reports, we come out now the highest ever cash loss compared to about four years ago. How the highest no surprise for CCD increase. Money, the estimated, money loss, estimated cash loss, estimated, estimated cash loss, cash loss which means you know qualified, okay, you know, we, not an absolute cash loss. We're not the time for toxic and thief 153 billion, okay. The auditors they just say, okay, we're not being get explanation for this. I just don't tell you a clear explanation you're not able to account about for that. no, 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 no. I don't just give you a very beautiful example of why audit not for shock anybody. With the National Mirrors Agency. There was a law which clearly, the 2017 Finance Act, which they used and interpreted in a way that the auditors obviously did not agree with NIME, they still continue for flagam, but they gave us the explanation and we are now looking at it to know whether this is true. I even get a, conversa a conversation with the Minister, the, 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 the Financial Secretary, on this last week. So basically, why I say I'm not surprised. Not of us say the audit report not bad, it's not terrible. But audit reports all over the world are like that. So, Salon says if you go take the audit report yet. of Ghana, listen, maybe I'll, I'll explain to you. Okay? No, we don't want to compare bad things. Maybe, things no, 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 no. We know they compare bad things. Them. All oh. I am trying to tell you, if you, I don't see them in the Supreme Audit meetings all over the world at the United Nations. Listen carefully the conversations the way they take place. There. I don't get a lot of conversations with Lara Mr. Commissioner, I know we on focus audit issues. The no, make a clear that issue. Audit report. No, 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 no. The only way how we able to educate with people about audit report now we will give them clear comparative analysis of the issue. Audit reports all over the world, they show estimated cash loss because now they, they do. They check and talk, say this one and not give you explanation, we're happy. But because they don't give you explanation, because they don't give explanation to auditor at that time, no means say somebody thief the money. So you're not worrisome for the fact, say, an um, estimated um, cash loss of 113 billion years, people never for accounts for them, where the auditors then go to, uh, to them. The SEC not worry about that? No, no, no. I'm not to tell you, say, this is not to ACC. I say me, as commissioner of ACC, not be surprised. For not be surprised and not be worried, not to see, no, no, no. Surprise and worry, not to synonyms. Surprise and worry, not to the same way. For say I'm not surprised, not mean say I'm not worried. But the only thing, it not shock me. You be the because, that. Because, because all these reports are like that. All these reports come out every year for every country. There are issues. Now, a question of what you go do about them. Me. And me, they now explain to Una, what we don't do about them all over the world. No country, not in the world. With all this report, they come up with the anti-corruption institution. They immediately jump on the issues like how they do and dissect them immediately and come back with the public results, begin to investigate. You know, they happen anywhere in the world. If we not get an example of any country where they happen in the world, we not bring a camera. But so Sierra Leone, 
is the best as far as handling audit issues are concerned because we they show say not to me our opinion we they take consensus action against them so it better let we focus on the actions that we can take and make sure say we hold people they're accountable then beginning to worry what you know show me one issue we worry don't ever solve let me look at some of the details them that the audit reports um the one we talk about the office of the president not even for the correct receipts of um, accommodation the the report also make allegation of double dipping and 4g and a lot of things them we talk about say happen at the office of the president and different term them we they make statements this is now a president where you see so committed in the fight against corruption you get all the supports where you need for ensure say you try for reduce corruption and a president will declare war on corruption yes so with all the allegations there so within the audit report say happen now in office you don't start by inviting anybody in the office of the president make a repeat say president bio um now one of the presidents that we don't really in action any word and indeed don't strongly support the fight against corruption if today would they do well in every global index more than ever before in the history of Sierra Leone every well, I say every no index nothing at the world who know you do better than we were before now because of the environment where president Bill in leadership provide now the first president this we will get international anti-corruption day every year for the past four years it will make a speech on the fight against corruption. For lay out in, in, in government in commitment to the fight against corruption and waiting what they do and how it gives support to the institutions the way they fight against corruption, and not just the anti-corruption commission, all other institutions with the fight against corruption. So I must repeat that, that he is a very supportive president of the fight against corruption. Now, allegations that don't come or issues then they will don't be flagged in the audit report concerning the presidency. In the press conference, I make them very clear. Section 48, subsection 4 of the Constitution make them clear, say you cannot commence a civil or criminal proceedings against a sitting president while he is in office. So, that one they will not even need to argue about him. The Constitution already talk and say you're not supposed to do him. But people, they were all... Now, I don't answer your question yet. I don't answer your question yet. That provision, they specifically apply to the president. So... There's a difference between the president and the presidency. The same way there's a difference between the commissioner and the commission. Okay? The president, the, the constitution don't say you can do nothing about him. Why is he holding office? The presidency made up of public servants where you can do everything about. You can ask them questions. You can invite them to give explanation. And all these issues flag in the audit report. We in parliament are going to consult with parliament and we decide what for do. We are going to make sure those who are supposed to provide those explanations are going to provide them. If the audit don't talk, say receipt don't come, and the receipts we ask for and we not get them, we go ask who are supposed to provide this report. So Explain need, to we why you not give this receipt to the auditors. Then. You need for wait for parliament to, for engage them. No, I'm not telling you how they wait for parliament. You say you go for consult with the parliament. constitution give parliament primary responsibility for audit report. You say you go for be very consult careful. with parliament. I don't want to be unconstitutional. But you say you are they consult? consult yeah, for consult with right, the non-means, so, say are they wait. But 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 you why not, you like for you? You not consult parliament. Were you ready for handle the issue? Get for with enemy and then one day you say. On have been invited, on arrest and detained for the Christmas, according to what you've been talking at the press conference, we build for this particular report. Mm. Why you need for wait for consultation? We not they wait for Parliament for for look. I don't use the word wait. Now you they you use say they wait. Consult with exactly. Parliament. But you consult, consult with wait Parliament and consult for the enemy, for example. With it. The one that we handled before the Christmas. Oh, yes. Consult oh, yes. Me and Parliament, they in consult. In fact, the head of the, the Public Accounts Committee, Mr. Senge Thomas, we they get serious the, conversations. The, the, the me and him get phone conversations on this issue. Not that we, what you would they do, they, 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 they really uh, kind of give approval, they are involved, but at least we they get conversations right. already on this. We don't get a preliminary understanding on this because they always they defend their position as people they wait in a Parliament for talk, say, look, um, this thing that we own, you have to stop getting involved. And I always have to try to convince them to say it is in the interest of the people of Sierra Leone for me, we all work together right. for bring out results. Imagine if by today with the Kanaya and nothing has been done right, about all the people.
we will come back to you. Continue further with Twin at the program. All right, we continue with the program. Good morning, Salon. We still get the ACC Commissioner with Twin at the studio, Francis Ben Kefala, as we look at issues them where the commission being starts for investigate inside the year 2021. Some pandy the one them where they don't done with, and still the one them where they get for look inside. And we'll be the talk about the audit reports for the year 2020 where the Auditor General we just pulled this be and say, Mr. Commissioner, the first thing you ever comment about this report now during a press conference and the people of Sierra Leone will be listening to the statement, the kind of zeal will you be get for looking inside the issues there. And this morning, the way they talk, so that I don't make an analysis, them don't send them to parliament. It's like a slight change don't happen with the way how you begin the zeal for call people, them detain them till after Christmas. We get explanation where they for do, where they're not able for provide. Who said the change come out? No, no change not happen. In fact, this morning, when at Christmas, then we're all man still in our house. Look me dressed fully geared from here. They go straight down ACC for continued work. And part of the work involved that very promise we make. So, so like, I, I tell you, say we don't read everywhere. The, the, the thing will happen is because this thing happened close to Christmas, and we hold this press conference around the twenty first or twenty second. By the time we go to the ministries, then forget most of the people that don't travel. Go up line and they know they is that the one they will be there. No more we will gather and come with them. So um, we they continue very strongly and vigorously now. Um, so there is no. Change. So the I only thing so. I want to tell you is that we are consultative people and they will not they disrespect parliament. Parliament is a very powerful constitutional institution. We get utmost respect for them and their powers and responsibilities and we engage them as we go on, particularly as it concerns audit reports. Audit the primary owner in the parliament. The only reason we make we engage with them because we own interpretation is that parliament delegate to we part of their responsibility to fight against corruption. So what will they do now an extension of parliament they work? So as with the talk, anybody they in, in detention pertaining to the twenty. Oh yes, people that they in detention, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. In Almost fact, now they make they go to the office and go try and, and go try for see How for review the situation as fast as fast. I think they're about six or seven right now. From Usai. Oh, different institutions them. I mean I don't call some institutions, ministries, department of agency. I don't get a full list now because we get we don't set a full tax force responsible for audit. We don't set up ten teams of investigators and they all don't operate in full force. In fact, last week on the twenty third, all ACC vehicles were grounded and we make sure so that the only the team that get access to vehicle then for go to every ministry of department and agency for check for who that they did and for bring them. So then people are away when I don't begin detain so as soon as I don't begin um Respond to the 2020 audit reports. Any one of them deal with the work now the office of the president? The, the well, I know the I'm going to pass I'm going to office and go check now because as of that day, really, the raid was very general, but the teams were allocated to various institutions then. If nobody not from office of president, then definitely this week would they, would they start for invite people then from the office of the president for giving you explanation. The figures of alleged missing billions that the 2020 audit report, one go and say alarming. The alarming figures there, although you say you're not surprised, and the way how other Sierra Leonean and take them, it look different from how you take the particular audit report we come out. It gets any way for damping your speed in no, the no, fight? No, 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 no. They, 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 look, fight now an action word, okay? It wasn't mean to rest, to lie, to sit. So fight. For fight means say something has to be ongoing and you are trying to prevent it from happening or taking action against it. So for make audit report and show say there is more reason for us to fight, that is a call to more action. So nothing not damping my spirit. My spirit as at the 28th of June when I take up as commissioner is the same as at today. We they continue for fight very strongly and we they make sure say more than ever before, we continue to take more action in the fight against corruption, particularly against people in the current administration. And I don't tell you the data, 15 cases from the past, over 100 cases in the present. There is no way we can be more yes. about the past than the present. But we continue for do what you do. But let me not forget, say, now because of what you do, let me not forget the MCC control against corruption. We are now in 83 in 2021. We used to be at 49% when I become commissioner. We have gone to 83%. So we continue. All them people in there are the good work who they do now they assess. 
and bring out their results that day. And they continue for doing what they do. You critique then get this opinion, say, whenever issues of alleged corruption come against a particular official or any official will belong to this present administration, instead of doing the needful, you can rather come out and try to defend this particular administration whenever alleged corruption issues then come. You can just clarify some of the issues then they... Yeah, because me critique them, um, first of all, want let me be um, like a stooge in their hands. Okay, they want to hijack the, the capital in the fight against corruption and use them for the use. So most of them are politicians. So they get people they wouldn't like. They, they want the, the ACC for be their weapon. I'm not a weapon. Nobody knows they weaponize me. We, they go after the facts, the issues, the evidence. Who's are a lead? Most importantly, we they go after the truth. T-R-U-T-H. If truth not the day, and you want let me go say, make her look black, I say not white. No, I'd explain to you, say not to white. Okay? I'd give you the true facts. How you handle them, that is fine. But we, they continue, we, they work for the people of Sierra Leone, not for individuals. So, the fact of the matter is, we critique them, either because they don't get... A, Information asymmetry, they don't get enough information for able to confront the issues. At that time, they are coming from a monofocal point of view, and I don't know more than you. But we get more information, we get more details, we get more reason for clarifying from everything concerned. So, critics are important to us, not then they make we do work. So, I really appreciate critics, but uh, I cannot do everything that critics want. I only do what is professional, what is right, what is fair, what is done with the fear of God. Commissioner, now the issue we get for do with recoveries, we don't hear a billions of Leon's way the commission can say, when yes. I don't recover from the fight against corruption, when I can care, I'm not the office of the president for go left, for go now the consolidated fund. Mm -hmm. The money we on I can say people they pay. Now who that send they pay this money in terms of accountability and transparency. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the way the public go able for access and see the seats of individuals where on I can claim say pay their money. Yes. Take advantage of the freedom of information, but most also most importantly, we they actually put out the information. We they put press releases out. So this year, we they this year, now who that them they do refunds to the SEC? Uh, I'm not gonna get the full detail now, but for right. example, a lot of people they don't they ask question about the the New York Chancery investigation. Say, person pay, we they try for hide the person. No, we don't they hide now anybody. Make payments. E T I C S A R L, Ethic S A R L. Now a company, a private company. Now, then the money pass from where they hand it over to the government of Sierra Leone. They retain 128,000 inside their account. They send the 1.8 billion. When we start investigation, we find out say 128 billion was not sent to New York. We go after them. They don't pay all the money to we. 128,000 dollars cash. They don't pay every penny to we. So that talk they were like they talk say. I they repeat the company name E T I C S A R L. So apart from that company, the those individuals them where the SEC deal with. Inside 2021, we really pull money pay back. Say this some money where they being take from the country legal one. Maybe we get we did talk about many people. If like I say, if now now investigative journalists come to the ACC, we can do another interview in my office where I get more so we'll get you now, clear why database. You know we'll just because I don't get a database before me. The issues. Because you I don't get the anybody. database before me. I don't know. I don't, I don't just tell you one company will pay $128,000. No, well, they talk about the other the individual, one, the other. not the company. Individual? No, I don't get a specific name in my mind now. But we don't get a lot of recoveries from individuals. We, if we come to we, we go able to give you the details. We get a spreadsheet. I will just call the investigations department, come with it. And I will just so give it's you this case easy. we get for do with the audit report, one of the latest one again. How serious are people for take the ACC in terms of fighting back and um, fighting corruption? Where you say on the consult suite and um, parliaments, this parliament where on the consult suite now one way people learn the question again. Say so many reports they don't come out from the auditor general's office, the the investigations then yet for come to the public and tell people them waiting they don't do to their old reports and they now new one don't come and you say on the consult with them how people for take on our work serious. We want to consult with people and we didn't still get question mark on their own findings. Maybe all the other audit reports that we don't come out from 2018 to now, we they do we they do we investigations, we they put out reports, we they put if you go to our website right now, you will see update on audit report as a specific section where we get all the details, recoveries, people that don't charge to court, people that they stand trial now because of audit issues. We get people that don't recover billions for. We get issues they will don't address through prevention measures. Okay? For consult with parliament. No mean say 
with the go sit down and not do nothing. But consultation is consultation. Consultation, not consultation. But we don't see several times we audit reports and they come out. The ACC can always get this toss with Parliament as to other force for begin what yes. inside it. So if before twenty before twenty eighteen there was clearly a tension between if, between ACC if and Parliament. Parliament get a backlog of audit reports where they still not touch it, then this don't come in and only the ACC one for start for look into their reports. Looking at the past history of ACC and Parliament, how they can draw between themselves. You think, say, on a go able fast track some of their investigations here and bring some of the people on a go find one into book? I just don't tell you about the National Mirrors Agency. This happened on the 23rd. So fast track, we are already fast tracking. In fact, we are on speed lane. We say, now you say one tell we say, when I don't do an analysis, don't send them to parliament. No, I say we they send them to parliament. When I send them to parliament. Yes. And when I do in consultation with parliament. It don't mean say we go, we not go do work. But we just want to all be on the same page. So, would I get right for begin look force into this whole report who they talk about? It's not a question of who is right or who that force or who that second or who that next. Now, for me, we all just know what you will do. We all respect each other's responsibility. And like I tell you, say, we at the ACC get, get high respect for parliament because the constitution give them a lot of powers, a lot of authority, and then give them specific responsibility when it comes to all these reports. I ask you this question because there was a time where we don't hear you say the um, chairperson for the Public Accounts Committee in the Parliament, we know the Deputy Speaker. He make it clear, say, the ACC for pool and a particular audit report will be come out until they don't do their work. No, no, no. Now we get a very good relationship with them. We get a very good understanding. You see, most issues them that the world they be settled by conversation, by meeting, by engagement. And that's what yes. we do. We are the commission, now a very consultative commission. We know they become belligerent. We know they we know they we know they come, for example, and all can I begin lambast parliament and say things. Right, if yes. they get issues with work, and they go engage the leadership. Then listen to me. We all reach an understanding and we take position. Just, don't forget say in twenty nineteen, parliament right. And authorize ACC for investigate a audit report. It never ever been in the history of Sierra Leone. Now, because of all that kind of convivial relationship, we'll get with them. So, so the time now, since 2018 to now, the relationship between the ACC and Parliament very cordial. They understand, say what you they do now in the interest of the people right. of Sierra Leone, but also they said they try for protect their own legal responsibility. And you know, we hold them responsible for so, that. Anybody who want to hold them responsible for that, pass you go change the law. But as, as it stands now, the constitution very clear on the issue. But like I tell you now, we, your interpretation of the issue is that parliament delegate the fight against corruption right. to the ACC. So the ACC, the ACC now an extension of parliament. We they work hand in hand with parliament so, for reach side. So, Mr. Commissioner, the ACC, how now they prioritize cases then? Because a lot of cases they were now of public interest. How now can decide on how for take a particular issue at a time where we don't see ding dong when they go up can dong we don't see don't go back to for example the 50th anniversary committee yonder we don't be in come that case up again how are they prioritizing that case the 50th anniversary case was in court the judge justice Cham, not be able to give judgment in the matter when they remove our chief justice he be get the file for give judgment so because he not be able to give judgment now you make the case don't start back in the court, not to ACC start her back. So how are they now the court start the case so back. How not to really No, but the, 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 the example where you make of prioritization not correct because that case they not in our hand, it didn't court. Now court prioritize them. Now court decide for going with them. So how are they but prioritize? we they prioritize cases taking into consideration with resources, taking into consideration with manpower, right. taking into consideration the public interest, and also for, for ensure say. We, we, we focus on the results. What can we gain out of it for the benefit of All the people right. of Sierra Leone? Now, that is the determine, and the parameters that need for prioritization. All right, finally, before you left, we, uh, Mr. Commissioner, how soon the people of Sierra Leone go away from the ACC? We can pass the 2020 audit report. We are the most talked about. The people of Sierra Leone, they already away from the ACC. As you don't know, they talk about her. Like, what you want to come out with? Now you say you want to get about six people them. Yes. Where they detention. We for go clarify. By the end of January, the people of Sierra Leone, they get a clear, serialized update on what the ACC don't do on the audit report. within the outcome, what are the positions on it? 
All right. Thank you very much for joining the program this morning. In name of Francis Ben Kefala, in the Commissioner for the Anti Corruption Commission. If we with you in the program, we'll talk about plenty of issues them with the ACC been do inside 2021 and self investigations them with and still they continue. And one part them in the 2020 audit report. And thank say you. by January, they go come with a comprehensive I love you um, report thank to the people of Sierra Leone. Mina Kadija Bangwadi wishing all a blessed day. And Mabel Kabade say goodbye. Thank you.